Nothing in the bathrooms, but I'll check. Just to be certain. And we'll head out the back way. That 150 skill points we just got, it it's bugged. You get it for find completing the secondary goal to find out where the generator was. So that takes me up to 2105. Excellent. Oh, well, once it clears the load zone, let's go to the basketball court now. Actually, let's go to the Tond right quick just to check in with Gilbert now that we've found Sandra and helped her out. I saw your daughter Sandra down the block. She didn't look so good. Sandra? Was she coming back to the hotel? I ran off a thug who was harassing her, but she's still mixed up in some pretty nasty business. You better talk to her. No. No more talking. If you see her, tell her I don't care what she's been doing. She can come home. No questions, no speeches. I'll tell her she can trust you. I should probably go find her. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she'll come in from the fighting. Why'd she have to do this to me? Thanks for looking out for her. They think they're invincible at that age. Why'd she have to do this to me? Okay. Now, before I move on for good, I'd better make sure that Sandra has nothing else to say. It always pays to be thorough, folks. Oh, I still haven't talked to this bum. Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. NSF got the whole building. Best thing, hide your piece and lay low. That's what I'm doing. Cops stop you, bro. Don't talk back. Tonight they just shoot your ass. Cops stop you, bro. Don't talk back. Talk to Sandra. I forgot why I was in here. Mind your own business. Okay. That's all done. Now we'll go to the basketball court. Once we clear the basketball court, we'll actually finally have this exterior map, Hell's Kitchen, cleared. But there are a couple of thugs in here we're gonna have to take out. Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. Hey, hey, gotcha. Hey. Actually, hold on. Before I do that, that's a fine way to take them both down, but I want to listen to what they say first. Do something, man. They're gonna kill him. He won't say anything else. Okay. Nothing. I checked his pockets. You don't live underground and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep down there. They don't give you money unless you're on the council. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. They just hacked a few accounts. They have some extra cash, that's it. I'm not asking again. It's just a bunch of us. We go down there to get out of the cold. All right, we'll do it the hard way. Hey! Hey! There we go, that'll do it. I'll wait for those two to settle down, then we'll talk to him. 
Another crowbar, and another sawed-off shotgun. Don't really want either. While they're running, let's try and sink a basket. You don't even have to sink it. If you get close enough, your log says sign him up for the Knicks, which you might have noticed. Well, let's talk with these two. Next manhole I see, I'm going underground, and I'm not coming up. Credits? They gonna burn the city down for a few credits? Some people think the fighting's all a big game. Some people think the fighting's all a big game. Did you see that? Yes, I... It was uncalled for. You mug people great, you need the dough. But you show some respect. What were they after? Especially when it's your ally. They came to us. They wanted an underground base. So those guys were NSF? Yeah, the NSF give guns to anybody who wants to fight. A lot of people just take the guns and do what they want. So the terrorists are based in the subways? The sewers? They need to move some kind of secret equipment. Our tunnels are like the crossroads. Tell me how to find this base, and I bet I can get the NSF off your back. Underworld. Just remember that word when you see Curly. He lets people in. That note. Underworld. Mole people password. Me, personally, I don't rob, but I think it's wrong. I think Curly went underground, but remember that password. You might need it someday. Appreciate the help. The NSF are all right. It's just some of the people that hang around them, you know? Appreciate the help. Now, let's go through here. There's another bum back here, and another newspaper. Back off, man. Well, he's called Hobo. What do I do? I ain't bother no one. What do I do? All right, let's read the paper. Court upholds New York grid law. New World Press, Washington, D.C. In a landmark 6-3 decision yesterday, the U.S. Supreme Court upheld the controversial grid zoning laws that have been the subject of a number of suits since being instituted six years ago. Originally passed by the New York legislature in 2046 in response to the Upper West Side bombing that killed 45 people and wounded over 100, the grid zoning laws effectively allowed the police to wall off regions of Manhattan and its surrounding boroughs. Foot traffic between these zones is prohibited, and traveling between zones is restricted to authorized subways or highways subject to police surveillance. A travesty, a travesty said Gil Treble, representing the ACLU as plaintiffs in the case. This law is nothing more than the legalization of social oppression on a grand scale. Supreme Court Justice Machen wrote in his favorable decision that the unfortunate nature of American liberty is that freedom creates opportunity for terror. It is with heavy heart that I must conclude in this case that the freedom of individual Americans must be balanced against the needs of the community to feel safe and secure. Then if you head back here to these storage containers, this is actually not a great way into smugglers, but you get... I wonder if I can get the skill points by circling around instead of going through it. Let's try that, because I don't want to waste two lockpicks getting inside. And I don't want to use a lamb, either. But getting inside that storage crate is worth 50 skill points, so... Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Oops. I missed something else. There's a prod charger up there. So let's go back and get it right quick. It's right here in the corner by the door. Don't want to forget that. Alright, now let's bring the elevator back up. And now we'll ride it back down. Now let's call the elevator back down. Our files show that the smugglers whacked out paranoid. Watch for booby traps. And the latest news? Your brother's team hit some resistance. 
so they're going to be delayed while we bring in chopper support. So in here, you do want to go ahead and use a multi-tool on this panel. There's one laying right there anyway. Light switch. Nothing, nothing else useful in there, but it disables those lasers. Helps us avoid having to deal with the security bot. Ballistic armor. Still not interested. This crate has a lockpick in it. Very good. Now this takes us up inside the storage crates, and my hope is that even if we come from the inside, we can get the skill points, but it looks like we can't. Well... Skill points are worth two lockpicks to me, so let's do it. Let's get in that way. I could also cheat and only use one lockpick, but that's cheating. I wonder. It's not quite weak enough to bash open, unfortunately. One lamb or two picks? I say one lamb. Let's blow let's blow the sucker open. What? Where are my skill points? Well... Maybe if I've been inside them before it doesn't work. I hope not. I'd hate to miss skill points. It's a small... It's a comparatively small skill point bonus. It's 50, but... I still don't want to miss it if I can help it. But if this doesn't work, then obviously I'm just going to have to forego the points. There we go! So you have to come in this entrance from the outside, and that's worth 50 skill points. So let's go down the ladder now. So once we're down here, of course we can still grab the lockpick, and the multi-tool, and bypass the circuitry. Break open this crate. Another crate. Rod charger, always handy. 20 skill points for reaching Smuggler's actual lair. Let's talk to the man. What do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend, Ford Schick, in a secret lab next to the sewers. A lab? In the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. These guys are pros. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look. But I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. If you're serious about going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Tell me about the hardware. 
I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits, a bioelectric cell for 800, and some light amplification goggles for 3,500. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. That gives us a secondary goal to rescue smuggler's friend Ford Schick from a secret laboratory in the sewers. The sewers are accessed by the grates in the street. Uh, one other thing to note, I don't actually want any of this stuff, but obviously I'm going to do the uh, quest anyway. Attack his computer. From Rosie Cross, subject, inquiry. The Oracle says, We did as asked and checked with our sources, pulled up black project lists from Dead Space Net Ghosts, performed intrusion runs on Throne 6G systems, everything. Called in all markers. Best we can say after eight variable cross check and all available info is your friend did some under the table work in youth. Very deep, very wet. Few specifics, but we were able to divine that involved the chlorine assisted delivery of weaponized particles. We show 86.73% likelihood that this work is contributing factor to his disappearance. We can tell you this much as well, was not taken by any known national or international security organization. We cannot determine responsible party and this troubles us. Consider our debt repaid. No further communication between us will occur. The Oracle would like to know the last jerk joke you heard. From 555.6773.1212, Limites d'affaire. And the email is all in French. If someone who knows French wants to try and translate this email for me in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. I'll go ahead and read it to the best of my ability. Like I said, I don't know French. My pronunciation might be awful. Nous trouvons les limites acceptables. Nous nous attendrons à ce que les éléments en question fournissent pour des mondes. Avec des lingères des mécanismes à l'emplacement que nous avons discuté, nous avons créé un compte contenant la première. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay. 
moitié du paiement comme le numéro 312-446, l'autorisation 1351. Hey, it's an account and PIN number. N'essayez pas une entrée par un contact avec nous l'adresse ci dessous. I'm gonna need to... Well, I've hacked every ATM, but... I'll need to memorize those two numbers. I've actually never noticed that before. How about that? Well, now I have a pretty good guess about what the email says. I think it's... Bank info. Elle est non fonctionnaire par si vous et si j'ai de nous contacter, vous pouvez utiliser les moyens que nous avons déjà établis. 312 446 1351. 312 446 1351. Oops. There we go. Very good. So that done. Let's take a peek at the other account. Shit. No email today. Good. Let's go upstairs now. A couple of crates. Assault rifle ammo. Prod charger. A lock pick. Two books. Basic firearm safety rules. One, never point a firearm at anyone or anything you do not intend to shoot. Two, before handling any firearm, understand its operation. Three, always have your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Four, keep your firearm unloaded when not in use. Five, treat every firearm as if it were loaded. Six, never pass your firearm to another person until the cylinder or action is open and you visually check that it is unloaded. Seven, place your finger inside the trigger guard only when you are ready to fire. Other book. The Modern Terrorist's Handbook, Section 7C, Computer Virus Cultivation. One tool or weapon not to be neglected in the arsenal of the modern terrorist is the use of computer viruses to cause disruption to major city services and infrastructure or other targets of opportunity. Current heuristical viral stalkers are in ineffective against, against modern polymorphic hothouse engines available for many sites on the undernet and can be easily linked to IP tunnelers for a cheap, effective denial-of-service attack. Or, with some programming skills and icebreakers, a mutagenic crash-and-grab bird can be grown for the retrieval of specific info from the unfortunate victims. The following pages will discuss some of the more particular vi some of the more typical viruses, such as the Bandersnatch V128, Ulysses Dilemma, and 109. On the shelf is yet another book, The Reluctant Dictators by Travis Crockett, Introduction. Organized at the end of the American Revolution on May 13, 1783 by General George Washington, the Order of the Cincinnati was ostensibly formed as a fraternity to recognize the accomplishments of those officers who had served with distinguishment during the Revolution. However, the true purpose of the Order was the cultivation of a military force ready, willing, and able to accomplish a coup d'etat if the fledging American, fledgling American democracy began to stumble. Skeptical at the viability of the untried democratic system, Washington took counsel in the story of the Roman general Cincinnatus who was called from retirement to serve as dictator for 16 days in the defense of Rome, after which he returned home to his farm. In the wake of the revolution, the United States was vulnerable to any number of outside forces, and Washington felt that a strong central authority had to be present that could assume control of the government if necessary, and temporarily suspend the constitution if required. Washington resigned as president after only two terms in office, but remained president of the Order of the Cincinnati till his death. The order still exists to this day, the shadow organization of the wealthy and powerful that has been linked to any number of other organizations ranging from the Illuminati to the Trilateral Commission. Now down here is a keypad which takes two tools to open, but if you bash long enough, you can just break open the mirror and get everything behind it that way. 
Inside here is the thermoptic camo, which we will want to take with us, a med kit, and a clip modification, which I might as well install on my pistol. I've got nowhere else to put it. That's it for here, so let's go to the sewers. I find it's better to head to this central alley here, <clears throat> open this manhole with the key we got from Smuggler, and head down. These tunnels aren't on the New York City sewer maps. Weird. I have no information on what you might be getting into. Seems worth following up. I'm drowning in prod ammo now, so let's just let's try and bag this middle guy. That's fifty skill points when we reach the center of this bridge. He had an assault rifle and a knife, neither of which I care to bring along. Let's see. 22-25. It's getting up there. Same as the other guy, an assault rifle and a knife. Let's head into this center door first. There's a guy sitting in here. Bioelectric cell, another assault rifle, another knife, blah de blah. More interesting is this data cube. From security to J Steward MJ12 chemical insertion. Our security grid is now online and active. We will perform a thorough system test every 12 hours to ensure integrity and expectation of the shipment from Hong Kong. If you would like to monitor our status, you can access the grid with the login MJ12 and password coup d'etat. Nice. There's a, another med kit. In that crate is another lock pick. And here's the security computer. So let's go ahead and log in. MJ12, coup d'etat. We can rotate the bridge, which we need to do. We can also turn off the cameras. Unlock the doors. I'm gonna leave the turret be. Let's climb down this ladder. See what we can find down here. I wonder if this has the same login. It does. And it's the exact 
exact same, except we can't rotate the bridge from it. We can just duck under this laser, which is nice. I think we can just duck under all of them. That's the other sewer entrance. I think I'd rather just go explore it directly. Instead of messing with all this. Yeah, let's... Let's get back to the other side of the door by quick loading. I don't think there's anything uh, down there that we need. I should have gone through the other entrance first. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and take care of it. So I don't like to have any loose ends behind me. As you saw, there was nothing in the tunnel behind the sewer grate. Just a way in, protected by some automated security. The other possible sewer entrance is over by the subway. That'll take us directly to the outside of those doors. No need to waste any multi-tools shutting down those lasers or opening those hatches. Oh. Well, that sucked. But I've got unlimited access to the med bots in the clinic, so I won't worry too much. Under that one, over this one. Oops. I'll just wait for the alarm to settle down. Anyway, you saw this guy had a med kit, two multi-tools, and two lock picks. There's another med kit on the ground along with an assault rifle, two ammo clips. There's no way to avoid tripping this alarm. I mean, if you climb the ladder, but let's read this data cube. From Redacted to Lieutenant Maxwell Hammer. Objective, covert surveillance of warehouse. Details, this mission is authorized at a level of Throne 6G. You will not interface with local authorities, UNATCO, or other government agencies. You are to act with prejudice against any threat to mission objectives. Notes, the entry code is 2167. <laughs> well, that's nice, but I don't want to mess with it anyway. So with the alarm settled down, I'm going to try again to hop this laser. That's the other side of the passage we already saw, but... <laughs> Those two multi-tools and two lock picks and two med kits were definitely worth the little side trip. Now let's get on with the business at hand. Now we can just head over here and rotate the bridge again. MJ-12, coup d'etat, rotate bridge. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Now there's some stuff we need to get out in this main chamber, but I'm going to do it after I take care of the guards in this hallway. Guard, I should say. I saw him walking away from me just then, which is grand. Assault rifle and a knife, like usual. So let's drop those, don't want them. Now you can see 
there's some stuff on these pipes, and then there's a crate floating out there, so... I want to get all that stuff, or it, because one at least is a weapon mod that I actually... Well, I need to drop from the other side, so never mind, I'll get it on my way out. Because I do have to come back this way, so... Let's just continue forward for now. Moving, getting to this tunnel is another 50 skill point accomplishment bonus. I'm up to 2275. Let's see if 2167 works here. It does, perfect. is an old water treatment facility. I wonder what all these paramilitary types are doing down here. But considering what the smugglers said, I would imagine this is where they're holding his friend, Forge Schick. So if you stick to the wall, you can get into this security computer. Turn off these cameras. Like his friend, this guy just had a, uh, all his friends. He had an assault rifle and a knife. Let's carry him out and drop that stuff. I see one guy right here, so let's let him turn around and... <laughs> Him. Carry him out like we've done with his friends. Drop him and his stuff. Clear this room first. Yeah, I knew there was another guard. Let me see where he goes. There's some buckshot under the stairs and a bioelectric cell behind these barrels. <laughs> Nailed him easy enough. Same story as all the others. Assault rifle and a knife. That's near everybody, though. I think all that's left is the guys in the guard quarters. I think we can get the armory code, so I don't want to mess with that just yet. I think we can get that one, too. Yeah, that guy in the chair sees us as soon as we go in, so... The best option... I'd like to save my gas grenades. Might behoove me to trank him. It's dead. Remember the briefing. Assault rifle and a knife. I think that's everybody, so... Let's clear out the guard quarters now. Yeah, we're done. Well, still gotta explore, but two books. The Man Who Was Thursday is another copy we've already seen. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond, Chapter 12. 
lot of people say this city looks like hell, Allie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette. The glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. Most people never been to hell, Jacob said. She looked at him and he could hear the smile in her voice. And I suppose you have? Jacob said nothing, then stood and walked to the bed. Allie let out a small noise and shrank back against the pillows as if she'd claw her way into them if she could. He leaned down close to her ear. You like to play games, he whispered, and that's fine. But you don't want to be playing games with me because I'm the one honest man in this city. You should know that since we were married. Data Cube. From data administration to J. Stewart MJ12 chemical insertion. As requested, access codes have been changed. Your new access code is login J. Stewart, password JS1357. Be sure to change the password after you log on. All right. J. Stewart, password JS1357. From WS, subject, our chemist. Your concern about his behavior is unwarranted. However, once the initial trial is completed, you may eliminate him at your own discretion. Operation Central, subject, Company Picnic. The Company Picnic has been moved from July 21st to July 28th. Please note this on your calendars. Employees on duty or otherwise unavailable will receive a bonus as compensation instead. See you there, Harleen Quinzel. Batman fans recognize that. Human Resources Director, Operation Central. Email address, a frown is just a smile turned upside down. From Security Central, subject, System Hacking. We've had several attempts to hack into the main Daedalus system, mostly amateur tunneling stunts that don't require a prejudicial response. However, in keeping with standard protocols, all level 1 lock system codes have been changed. The new code is 2167. This will work within the complex, but isn't valid for exterior access. Those systems are on a separate grid, as is the armory. Pass this code on to those with the proper clearances. Archie Rainman, Central Security. Never blame malice for what can adequately be blamed on stupidity. R. Feynman. From WS, subject, Delivery. The main shipment will be arriving shortly, so ensure that all chlorine delivery tests are completed. Your recommendation of the water treatment facilities for insertion has also been approved. Your studies of vector diffusion and initial casualty counts were persuasive. Sounds effed up, whatever's going on. So this one is still 2167. So this water's not toxic. Can dive down here with impunity. There's another lockpick. Always useful. And in this one, we find pistol ammo. So now we'll head upstairs. In this room, we find Smuggler's Friend Ford. But before messing with that, let, well, let's talk to it now. You must be Ford Chick. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. Say, make a break for it, I'll protect you, since all the guards make are Make a gone. break for it, I'll protect you. Here I go! So... Oh boy. There he goes, good. In the meantime, let's read his books. Chlorine and Water Treatment. Report for the New York City Council, 2053. On the other hand, opponents claim chlorine compounds can cause cancer, infertility, or birth defects. However, recent research indicates that the increased risk of cancer from chlorinated water is minimal or non-existent. For example, a 2034 toxicological study found no carcinogenic effects at chlorine concentrations a thousand times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency revised Kyoto standards. We just completed the secondary goal to find Ford, by the way. And the International Agency for Research on Cancer concluded population studies on cancer rates were too flawed to draw any conclusions. Water chlorination is just one target for some activists. They advocate eliminating some or all of the 15,000 chlorine compounds now in use. This would include most plastics, almost 85% of pharmaceuticals, and 96% of crop protection chemicals. Yet most of the chlorine in the world occurs naturally. 
The annual global emission of some 1,500 naturally occurring chlorinated organic chemicals totals 5 million tons, compared to human emissions of chlorine compounds of only 26,000 tons. The other book, Nanotechnology for Stupid People, trademark. Feel like a moron because folks sling around words like universal constructor, gray goo, mechanocarbons, and mechanocarbons and bucky tubes? Well, no longer. Nanotechnology for Stupid People, trademark, will guide you through the small, small world of tiny machines. Why is this important? Why should you care? Imagine a million microscopic robots no bigger than a red blood cell constantly scouring your arteries for plaque and cholesterol. Imagine a supercomputer the size of your thumbnail that can record everything you see and hear. Imagine buildings that assemble themselves overnight. Well, imagine no longer. The future is here, or will be soon, and it's made of little atoms. That's right, atoms, the building blocks of all matter in the universe. Nanotechnology simply pushes the little building blocks around to make new, interesting, exciting things. Even now, scientists worldwide are making huge strides in perfecting the universal constructor that will make a nanotechnological future possible, but already the benefits are being reaped from their research. You'll learn the history, the inside scoop, the buzzwords, and what the future holds, all inside Nanotechnology for Stupid People, trademark. Stupid People, when you don't have two neurons to rub together, trademark. Check out our other books, including the best-selling Pandemics for Stupid People and Cooking Dog for Stupid People. Finally, inside the desk, there's nothing what, There's nothing in that side. This side is a lockpick and a multi-tool, and the drawer has nothing. So let's, uh, let's follow Ford for a bit, because I remember getting some skill points, so maybe we actually have to be with him. Yeah, I think I actually have to escort him, so... Let's quick load right quick, make sure that happens. Where was this? Before these guys, that's what I thought. That's the one. Okay, drop it. Not mess this up this time. Those two down. Let's actually quick save. Clear this room. Let's not tell Ford to run for it until we're ready to go with him. That was the only one that had anything inside it. Okay. Now we're ready. You must be Ford Sorry about that. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. Make a break for it. I'll protect you. Here I go. All right, let's follow him this time. There's nothing inside the fume hood, so... Let's stick with him and we should get our skill points. Those poor people, so they could tolerate the virus. 
every time I got the sequence wrong, more people die. The soldiers seem less interested in curing the plague than in successfully integrating it into a human host. I could eliminate the immune response by removing all sequences that code for H-type Epsilon, but that's like driving a nail with a wrecking ball. I knew that patients without Epsilon chains would die, but it was the only way to narrow down the problem. I had no choice. One of the guys knew enough immunology that I couldn't fake it. I knew that patients without Epsilon chains would die, but it was the only way to narrow down the problem. With our skill points in hand, 23.55. Now, let's go open up the armory right quick. I'm not sure if it's worth the multi-tool or not. I can't remember if there's anything I want, but I've got a lot of multi-tools, so. I can start being a little less mad about holding on to them. Let's see. Well, we got white phosphorus rockets. Let's read about that. WP Rockets. The white phosphorus rocket, or Wooly Peter, was designed to expand the mission profile of the GEP gun. While it does minimal damage upon detonation, the explosion will spread a cloud of particularized white phosphorus that ignites immediately upon contact with the air. Alright. Oh, an EMP grenade. A scramble grenade. And a gas grenade, yeah, it's definitely worth a multi-tool. Good. <gasps> See, a law is a light anti-tank weapon. Weapon stats, ammo types NA, base damage 100, clip size, rate of fire, reload time all NA, recoil 1.0, base accuracy 70%, accurate range 900 feet, max range 1500 feet, mass 50 pounds, laser sight, scope, silencer, all NA, skill, weapons heavy. The law provides cheap, dependable, anti-armor capability in the form of an integrated one-shot rocket and delivery system, though at the expense of any laser guidance. Like other heavy weapons, the law can slow agents who have not trained with it extensively. I am going to hold on to that just because we can use the explosive to blow open a lock at some point. So, it's a good thing to have. That's the same reason I'm actually going to carry a gap gun after I finally find one. But we're just about... Up I really didn't mean to do that. But I'll eat the mistake. Now I need to rotate the bridge again. Oops. Now before we leave, we need to get all the goodies. So, you see the bio cell, bioelectric cell on the pipe beneath me? I'll drop down and grab that. Now down another one. Didn't want that. Definitely didn't want that. I might need to burn a med kit here. Pick up the accuracy mod, which I will put into my crossbow. Accuracy is up to 81% now. Let's see what's in that combat crate. Let's turn on environmental resistance. You'll notice we were only taking poison damage. Oh, crud. I just realized something happened. Uh, Fraps stopped recording when I uh, hit F9 to turn on environmental resistance. Well, that's not good. I'd better pair that to a different button. Let me go into... Let's see, F9, let's just pick something. 
K. There. Now hitting... Now hitting K should turn on environmental resistance without turning off my recording software. Here's the hope. That's the hope, anyway. It's not working. Alright, well, I don't need the pistol ammo, so let's just... Make a dash for the ladder. You'll notice both my legs are crippled. And I'm very near death, but that's okay. They are, uh, this is where they're dumping chlorine into the water, if you didn't catch that from all the flavor text. And they're doing that as a test to see if maybe they can do something even more nefarious later when the main shipment arrives. So we'll hobble on out of here and our first stop will be the free clinic to repair all the damage we've taken. I know it looks like I'm crouched. That's what happens when both legs are crippled. The free clinic's right over here. Let's go visit the med bots. It's almost time to head to the warehouse district. I'm going to call it a section at the start of the warehouse district just because I've been at this for so long. This video is going to be huge. I might, uh, I've been enjoying the older graphics enabling me to combine things into one video again instead of having multiple parts, but that was bad. I got another 150 skill points. I didn't know I could do that. That's good. The riot cops are running scared. Reminds me of Washington. I'm puzzling it out. I was there when out. the NSF overran Squalnomi, back when they were called the Northwest Secessionist Forces. It seems like if you've found all the information possible about the generator, you get the 150 skill points upon reaching the exit of either the free clinic or the bar. I didn't know you could get it twice, though. One of the doctors can help you. 2153 to get inside. Let's get healed. There we go. All is well. You must pay the doctors in cash. Welcome to Tenderloin Clinic. Christ. You see the guy begging for a cure? So, one other little thing. Let's go visit Smuggler. See what our thanks is for rescuing his friend from the paramilitary troops in the sewers. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. the elevator back down. I'm gonna need it. I got your friend out. Ford, is he all right? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits, a bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. Not interested. Well, you know where to find me. Thanks again for finding Ford. No problem. I don't actually want any of the stuff. It's all fairly useless. So with that, we have 
done everything we can do except our main objective, which is through Osgood and Sons. Let's head out there. Everyone unconscious, no one dead. Proud of that little accomplishment. So, hmm, the basement, not the basement. I'm gonna go with not the basement. Watch for lambs. I'm picking up sonic transducer activity. I'm sending you a satellite image that should help you plan your approach. The image is here. We see all the, the, the rooftops. Osgood and Sons imports, microwave antennas, and these white dots are all the guards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guards total. Ah, oh, hell, let's just keep going. Let's finish the mission. If I have to divide it into sections, I will. So, once we head over this fence, we can't really come back. There's a lamb on the wall, so let's grab that. Let's read this newspaper next. Midnight Sun. Giant rat stalks New York. New York. In recent weeks, a rash of mutilated corpses, many of them found near docks, subways, or sewers, has garnered nothing but indifference from the NYPD. Isolated and unremarkable, in the words of one police spokesperson. But while the police seem content to categorize these horrible crimes as nothing more than simple cases of homicide or suicide among the poor and indigent, eyewitness accounts tell a different and together, altogether more frightening story. It's a monster in it, says Dickie Cork, a sailor aboard the Matilda Briggs out of Sumatra. The thing looked like a rat it did, only it was big, about the size of a lion or something. Numerous other witnesses, all telling remarkably similar accounts of the creature, have come forward in recent weeks, but the police refuse to act, calling the descriptions ludicrous without any further investigation. But regardless of the truth, the police choose to sit idly by as the killings continue and poor law-abiding citizens pay the price. Joe Green, senior staff writer. Alright, let's head up this ladder now. Oh. Wrong side. All the way up here. Now, if you're trying to avoid killing people, and obviously we are, then it's necessary to uh, take down all of the NSF and remove them from the generator building before you destroy the generator, so... <laughs> Drop to that guy. He had a sniper rifle and a knife. Sort of useful, not really. Not to me. Is there a ladder over here? I think there is. Yes. There are more goodies up there, but I want to see what's in here first. I don't remember what this door is. Well, now let me just make sure I can get the skill points by coming in that way. Ah, here we go. Heads up, JC. We've got NSF troops on the rooftops. There it is. That's our rooftop elevator. Nice. OK, 
Okay, so let's clear up here. There's just uh, some sniper rifle ammo and the ballistic armor over here if you want them. There was 30 skill points. I wonder if it's the same or different. Let's find out. Different. Okay, there's two sets of 30 skill points. Okay. There are lots of little skill bonuses in this area, and I want to make sure I get them all. Okay, so let's head down here. That's next. I don't think he can see me at that distance. Good. Bag this guy. He's gonna turn around though, I think. Oh, nope, he headed the other way. Thought I saw someone. A guy in a coat. Well, now that I know his patrol route, I'm a little bit better equipped to come after him. We got, we got sighted by a sniper somewhere. Gotta do a better job one-shotting the guy, I think. I remain uninterested in his assault rifle and knife. Drop those. What's down this ladder? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so this is the other way in. Commander Weld, code for the warehouse basement ramp is 2577. Setting up the security grid is absolute first priority. The assault on Liberty Island will be commencing shortly and we can expect an armed response within short order. Until the mission objective can be offloaded, the generator must be protected. It's our last line of defense, JL. Alright, let's grab this lamb here. Along with this multi-tool. Grab this lamb down here. Drop this guard if we can. Uh, uh oh. Let's just back it up for now. I wonder if I can knock the dogs unconscious. I don't know. I might have to kill the guard dogs. Look for the building with the antennas. There's too many guards. Mm -hmm. 
something moved. Could be the law. Take him in. Well, that certainly killed him. All right, well, let's use our law on this wooden fence. Because we can blow it open. Let's do it from a little farther away. Gives us two 20 skill point bonuses, you might have noticed. Well, I gotta take these all these people guys out somehow. Look for the building with the antennas. I might need to prank the dogs. Might be the only way I can make sure that they go unconscious. We got cops. Still Wait. quiet. Almost out of darts, but all clear. That takes care of the dogs, at least. I don't like the thought of killing dogs. Just doesn't feel right. That went poorly, to say the least. Let's try and one-shot him this time. Much better. Let's get him out of here. Let's drop his garbage, too. Fence is still here in pieces. I think there's another skill point bonus to get around here somewhere. Two more guys over here. Oh, and one in the Who's doorway. Who's there? I think the law's on us. Nothing. I guess we're safe. Well, that went well. I got a key to warehouse front door, some tranquilizer darts, a knife, and something else, too. Drop all that stuff now. I think my main entrance or ground level is safe now. Just good. Back here. dogs. I might have to kill them. I'm not sure if uh, any of my gear can... Oh, I did get more trank darts, didn't I? 
guess I'll just have to use those. Oh. I got a single dart. Oh, it's... The tranquil... Even the tranquilizers are killing them. There's, a. Uh, Even the ones I've tranquilized, it's calling a carcass, so... I guess there's no non-lethal way to deal with the dogs. That's a shame. Oh well. Alright, now the ground level out here is clear. But before I mess with the building itself... There we go. That's the 40 point bonus I was looking for. Now let's go down into the sewers because we can get some skill points here too. First things first, let's open this crate. It's worth a lock pick, always handy. Now let's blow open that crack in the wall with one of these lands. That's another 20 skill points. skill points to be had inside that tunnel, but I've got to turn this valve first to open it, so let's do that. There we go. Now with that opened up, we'll swim until we get the skill points. Another 20. Now we're gonna start to drown, because uh, I have no points in swimming and I don't have a rebreather. <sighs> but I made it out with no trouble. I think that. There's another data cube here. Commander Frace, I've completed the initialization of the warehouse perimeter security grids with the login and password you requested. These codes will work for both grids. I'll set up internal warehouse security measures next. I don't really trust Jojo to do the job right. Login NSF password righteous. Decker. Alright, let's head up here now. Now, swimming through that pipe, which... I obviously can't actually do is necessary. Now, um, maybe I should just trip the alarm and try to outrun the turrets. I don't really want to burn another land here. Maybe it would be better to just try and make the swim. Burn a few med kits if I have to. Ready on the med kits. Should have just done this in the first place. That was dumb of me. Sorry, viewers. Come on. Come on. 
into this bad boy, NSF Righteous. Turn off the cameras. Unlock and open the door. No. Where is this? Oh, okay. I know where it is. That's the basement of headquarters, so... I don't need to do that. All I need to do is... Oh, man! All I need to do is... Get here. Get my 30 skill points. That's all I really wanted. So... Get back outside now. I don't really care about that alarm, it just means the turrets are shooting at me. That's all the skill points to be had down in the sewers. And indeed, down at down at ground level, so let's get back up to the rooftops. Find all the goodies to be had there. I can't remember if there's another guard on this rooftop or not. I think there might be. But it looks like no. That's where we came down. Let's check the roof up here. They found us. That Take him out. This is what I signed on for. Alright, we need to get up this ladder and manage to get get in behind of that guy. So we can drop him. Uh oh. He must be turning right away. They found us. They found us. Oh. I'm getting spotted by a different guy. Okay. Is there another way up over here? No. Here we go. This is the way I need to get up. I can swear I heard something. There's one down. Sniper rifle, knife, and another lamb. The lamb is handy, the rest, whatever. There's sniper rifle ammo. What's up here? 
Uh, just another vantage. If I wanted to kill that guy from here, I could. Instead, let's get to the front of the sign and make our way over. Try and get in behind him and take him down. Data cube over here. There's another one. Sniper rifle and a knife. Just like so many others. Let's read the data cube. All proud members of the NSF, our time is fast approaching. What we have always feared is upon us, have no doubt. We are fighting against our own imminent slavery, but you are brave, you are strong, and we will triumph. A temporary office has been arranged in the warehouse basement for the coordination of equipment, armament, and other supplies. We request that each member report to the office to be fitted with a telemetry rig prior to proceeding to your assigned post. The office code is 9923JL. Alrighty. I need to get down below me now. I nearly got spotted by a guy on the roof of the actual generator building. This one just has an assault rifle and a knife. Now he's down. I thought I'd been dinking around too long trying to get over that stupid little wall. Down, 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 down. There you go. I don't hear any combat music. I think I'm okay. Which is good. There are a few more skill points to collect out here, and I think still a few more goodies to find, too. But, let's see. Let's drop down here. We can find a prod charger right here, which is always handy. Let's go ahead and take care of the guy on the roof, at least. Twenty skill points awarded at the top of that ladder. The guys on the lower levels can see you through that those center windows. Who's there? Huh? So you gotta be careful. God damn. Hopefully I avoided detection from anyone else. So far. Nope. 30 credits says I get. No such luck. <laughs> I was worried about that. But now that I know he's gonna 
turn and head the other way. I should be able to get him actually undetected. That 20 points brought my skill point total to 2735. I'm gonna go ahead and raise low tech again. To advance. Sniper rifle and a knife. Useless to me. Now, I'm gonna pull everybody out of the generator building. I think we've got an intruder. I guess ah, damn. This guy wasn't just a grunt. What? Okay, I think. I think what they're hearing me drop. I think they're hearing me drop his weapons, so. I should. Well, but I can't carry him out. Hmm. There we go. Let's just do that for now. As I was saying. I'm not entirely certain who all is in danger when the generator blows, but well, I don't want to die either, JC. But a lot of people, if you if you leave them inside, will die when the generator explodes. So you know, if you're a humanitarian like me, you want to knock them out and pull them out first. The rooftop should be safe now. I don't think there are any snipers left. Let's just get homeboy onto this ladder. Let's try this one too. No can do. Would seem. Okay. Well, that's. I was gonna say that's fine, but it's not fine. I need to get on that ladder. To get back up. So. Try and hug the edge here, and maybe we can get on from here. Damn. Okay. Do something different with the edge. Let's head out here. Careful. Still not gonna make that jump, am I? What I need is to make it onto that fire escape somehow, but I'm not gonna be able to reach it from here. We need to get inside this building. There are some more skill points in there. But, I'm not sure how. Ah! I know I don't want to take fall damage. Alright. Well, let's head to the generator building again for now. And we'll just make the long loop back up. I just head down to ground level out here. Quick. We got cops. There's still terrorists inside, as you can doubtless hear. Well, let's just make the loop and get back up over here.
This will work. Let's just bust this window. There's 20 skill points right there. And let's hop in. There's some goodies in here, I think. There's a med kit. 30 more skill points. And in this center room, there's a bioelectric cell. And that might be everything, but let me check to be sure. I don't think there's anything down here. There might be something in the back corner. No, there's not. Ah, but back here, there's a med kit and another bioelectric cell. That's all handy. Then from here, we can break this window, hop out, and now we're finally ready to tackle the generator building itself. We've found everything there is to find out here. I'm mostly concerned with maximizing my skill points. So... Let's head up here and go from the top down. That laser is almost criminally easy to avoid. Quiet. I think we got cops. Of course, this dude heard me. I got a little too cavalier with my prodding. I thought being advanced in low tech would swear I heard so. basically guarantee that he'd go down. I think there are two guards on this level. There might even be three. I know I heard so. I think it's only two. Nope, it's three. Forget it. I was hearing things. Let's see where he goes after he settles. Okay, he's he's staying put. Uh oh. <laughs> Tranquilizer darts, always handy. Two guys left on this level. Let's bag him. Oh damn! I thought I saw some guy not, in a coat. Did not expect him to pivot all the way around Quiet. like that. I think we got cops. Wait. Quiet. Thought maybe my old trick from Thief Deadly Shadows would work for me here, but I was wrong about that. I'm just trying too hard to rush this guy. I need to shoot for the middle instead. Something moved. Could be the law. All clear. Something moved. Could be the law. All clear. That guy had an assault rifle. And this guy has what? Sawed off shotgun. So, not really anything new. We can't go back the way we came because of that laser. So what we'll eventually do is carry all these poor fellows out through the front door so they don't get blown up when I destroy their generator. Pistol ammo there. Let's uh, drop all this stuff I don't need. 
hope nobody hears me do it. And let's keep going. Someone heard it, but they settled. Looks like this guy. Who was that? I didn't see a uniform. Ashes. I was afraid of that. Okay, let's not drop all the stuff just yet. Don't want anyone down here hearing it. was that? I didn't see a uniform. That looks like he parks under here anyway. I guess it's nothing. That's right, it's nothing. <laughs> Very good. Let's carry him upstairs. And let's do drop the stuff. I don't think anyone's around right now to hear. I don't like running around with a full inventory. So on this level, you see another guy camped in the corner, so let's sneak right up and bag him. He's got a sawed-off shotgun and a knife. Now we should be able to work our way around to this controller. He had tranquilizer darts. That's fine. Still plenty of guys underneath us. You can hear them walking around. So let's go down to the next level. Something moved. Could be the lo huh? hey, damn. Thought I saw some oh, man. guy in a coat. Moved too fast that time. Oh, someone heard me this time. That's fine if they're gonna come up here. Might actually be good. Gives me a golden opportunity to take both of them down, just like that. An assault rifle. And nothing. Alright, with those two down, let's drop stuff again. Clear the ground level now.
We'll avoid the computer room for the moment because that's where we go to blow the generator, which is the very last thing I'm gonna do. Got a guy standing here right next to it. Assault rifle and a knife. That goes down to the basement. Quiet. I think we got cops. Did it spawn more Something guys moved. out there? Could be the law. I think it did. I think it spawned the new dudes. Well, I'll take them down too. interior is actually clear before I head back outside. You know, except for the basement. Let me check the bathrooms and the break room. At least that's what it looks like. Some buckshot there. What about the bathrooms? Nothing. And... Nothing. Alright, now let's... Apparently it's populated again, so I need to take out the guys out here. Uh oh, that's him. He's a cop. Yep, looks like it spawned two new terrorists. Trank darts on one, always welcome. So with that, I'm ready to move people outside. Empty out the top floors. Yeah, it's gonna t it's gonna be a bit tedious. But I don't want to kill anybody, so... I do think I can just toss them over the edge like that. I don't think that the fall kills them. Two more. One more. All right, top level's clear. There are three guys on this level, as I recall. Well, four, including all the ones I've brought up. Three, two, one. This guy makes zero, so let's just take him out. I don't think there was anybody else on this level. Let's head down to ground level now. Let's make sure that didn't inadvertently kill anyone. This fellow is unconscious. Same with that one. Very good. Same with both of these, I think.
slumber party out there. Two. And that's it. No one dead. The warehouse is clear. Let's head down to the basement now. I don't think I have the key to this. I'll check right quick. I don't, but the key exists. Whatever, I have 17 lockpicks, it only takes one. Let's just get into that room. Another lockpick, right there. Mm. I think I could take out those lasers just by blowing up that barrel. I need to do a better job than that. Let's move it out into the hall. Microfibral muscle. This should help us out. Quite a bit. All right. See what they got down here. Warehouse basement storeroom. Well, there was the key, but oh well. NSF, righteous. Let's turn these two cameras off. We got 60 skill points for coming in here. There are two lambs, an augmentation canister, which, okay, yeah, we can drop these weapons now, too. The augmentation canister can give us, ah, speed enhancement or run silent. Now that's a good one. Let's, uh, I don't think NSF right just works on this one. No, we're gonna have to hack it. From H. Grimaldi, subject, re-collateral damage. I've done my best to convey this to my people, but to be frank, I think we'll need to assume that collateral damage is inevitable and mobilize our own propaganda efforts now in order to blunt or deflect any negative psychological repercussions. Let me look through my notes, make sure I don't know this. Most 
of those in the field haven't had any formal military training, and I'm already receiving reports that the action in Hell's Kitchen has resulted in a number of friendly fire casualties and hostage situations. The Natco's counterattack has been more aggressive than expected. Some of our troops are going to make bad decisions under pressure. Grimaldi. We need to impress upon those under our command that collateral damage in the form of civilian casualties must be avoided at all possible costs. The value of dead or wounded civilians to UNATCO propaganda efforts. The value of dead or wounded civilians to UNATCO propaganda efforts is incalculable and will significantly set back our cause. From J. Lebedev, subject, good luck. I'm preparing to depart for the airfield to oversee the final stages of the operation. Communication will be difficult until the airfield can be secured, but I'll debrief our friend once we rendezvous there and send any necessary tactical updates via couriers. JL. Alright, we're done down here. So finally, let's head upstairs. You can also get in here from outside. Seventy skill points for getting into this room. A whopping 215. Oh, that's just a mirror. But I can break it open. And it's not a mirror, it's a window. Well, there's buckshot under there, and there's just this computer, so... Again, we have to hack. No email today for JoJo. No email today for the NSF. Shut down generator cooling systems on special options. Cooling system disabled. Explosion imminent. <laughs> 500 skill points. Good job, JC. The power just died at the NSF headquarters. Now it's up to Paul. Go to the roof. A chopper is arriving with Agent Herman on board. He will lock down the warehouse while you take the chopper back to HQ. So we got no goals right now. We completed our primary goal. Got 500 skill points, which brings me to 715. And everyone's already unconscious, so Herman can't kill them, which is good. Let's talk to him. And Ali has assigned me the peacekeeping occupation of this district. I took care of the generator. How's the raid going? We should have sent Agent Navarre. Your brother is timid like a child. Did something go wrong? You do not need to hear anything from me. Take the helicopter back to base. I am sure Manderley has planned a debriefing for the top agents. I do not need assistance. The helicopter is waiting. 
Learn your lesson from Bao. A simple job. They have me doing the work of bots. You will be bored if you stay here with me. The helicopter is waiting. All right, let's get in. Last boarding call. Not go HQ. Hey, you're the guy I talked to at the Underworld Bar, right? The one asking for beer. You don't want to fly one of these birds all wound up. They have a temperament, especially in a crosswind. Let's go. Let's go. So here we are, back at UNATCO HQ. Always fun. Let's do a uh, beginning of level save. Update my real save. Update my quick save. And we will finally call that a section. That was Hell's Kitchen. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.